Hey guys, it's Mr. Boyd. In this video, we're going to explore how do you graph the solution set to a linear inequality. So let's go ahead and get started. So number one, you want to graph the line as if you're graphing an equation. Number two, if the inequality is a greater than or a less than, you're going to connect the dots or the points with a dotted line or a dashed line. Number three, if the inequality is a greater than or greater than or equal to, a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, connect the points with a solid line. At this point, the coordinate plane is divided into two regions, one above the line, one below the line. The last step is to use the test point to determine which side of the line to shade. Zero, zero is always a good test point if it's not on the line. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these examples here. So to begin with, I notice that this equation, this inequality is already in um, slope-intercept form. And here I notice that the slope is 1 fourth and the y-intercept is 2. Or m equals 1 fourth and b equals 2. Now we find the y-intercept on the y-axis. Let's go ahead and label those. So 2 would be right down here. Next we want to uh, plot the next point with using our slope. So we're going to go up one space and over four spaces to get to the next point. I'm going to continue this pattern for several points. Okay, I've gone as far to the right as I can go. Now I'm going to continue the pattern to the left. Well, to continue the pattern to the left, I'm going to go down one and to the left two, or the left four, excuse me. Okay, now that I've continued the pattern all the way across the graph, I notice that this is a greater than inequality, which indicates that we're going to use a dotted line. Therefore, I'm going to draw a dotted line across the graph. Now when you do this, make sure you use a ruler so that you get nice straight lines instead of this crooked line like I'm drawing. Next, we're going to shade the side of the graph that contains our solutions. To find out where our solutions are, we're going to start out by choosing a test point. Since 0, 0 is not on the line, we're going to go ahead and choose that point right here and see if it is in our solution set. If it is, then we'll shade this side of the line. If it's not in our solution set, then we'll shade the opposite side of the line. So let's go ahead and plug that into our inequality and see if that works. So if I use 0, comma 0, then that would tell me that 0 is greater than 1 fourth times 0 plus 2, which ends up saying 0 is greater than 2. Well, we know this is a false statement. This is not true. 0 is not greater than 2. Therefore, we're going to shade the opposite side of the line, which happens to be this side right here. So we'll just shade this in so that we know that this is our solution set. Now, we could choose another point above the line and test it. So let's choose the point 0, 3 right up here, just above the line, the y-intercept, just above our y-intercept right there. All right, so that would be 0 comma 3. Okay, if we use the point 0, 3, then that would tell us that 3 is greater than 1 fourth times 0 plus 2, or 3 is greater than 2, which is a true statement, which therefore verifies that we have shaded the right side of the line. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So for this one, I notice that my, that my slope is negative 1. Remember, there's a 1 here, folks, over 1, and my y-intercept is 5. Okay, so let's plot those on the graph. So my y-intercept is 5, so I'm going to go up 5 spaces on the y-axis. Let's label those again. One, two. Three, four, five. Next, I'm going to go down one and to the right one. 
and I'm going to continue this pattern as well. Now for this graph, I also noticed that the inequality is a less than and not a less than or equal to. So this one's also going to get a dotted line or dashed, however you see it. Again, you use a ruler, make sure your lines are nice and straight. And then you can use a highlighter or colored pencil or even just shade with your regular pencil to shade the side of the line that should be shaded. Okay, let's choose our test point. So again, let's use zero, zero just to see if that works. So if I plug zero, zero into the original inequality, I would have zero is less than negative zero plus five, which would say that zero is less than five, which is a true statement. Therefore, zero, zero is part of the solution set. So for this one, I'm going to shade the side of the line that includes 0, 0, which is this region over here on this side. So everything right up into that and right up to that line on this side of the line is a part of the solution set. However, nothing on the line, none of the points on the line are included in the solution set because it's a less than which is why we put a dotted line there instead of a solid line because the solutions are not included on the line. Okay, let's move on to another example. Now for number three, I noticed that the inequality is not in slope-intercept form. Now at this point, I can choose to put it in slope-intercept form or I can find my x and my y-intercept. So let's find our x-intercept first. So as a review of how we do, to do that, we want to substitute 0 for y and solve for x. So 3x plus 2 times 0 is greater than or equal to 6. So 3, 2 times 0 is, two, is 0. So 3x greater than or equal to 6. I'm going to divide by 3. And x is greater than or equal to 2. So my intercept is actually x equals 2. Okay, now to find my y-intercept, I'm going to solve the equation uh, 3 times 0. I'm going to substitute 0 for my x plus 2y equals 6. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2y is equal to 6. I'm going to divide by 2, and I find y equals 3. So my x-intercept equals 2, and my y-intercept equals 3. So I'm going to plot those on the graph. So my y-intercept is right up here at 0, 3, and my x-intercept is right over here at 2, 0. Now, different for this one, this happens to be a greater than or equal to. So because it's equal to, this is going to get a solid line. Therefore, I need to draw the line through those two points. That's a solid line. Let me see if my line tool is going to cooperate tonight. Looks like my ruler's not going to work, so I'm going to just draw a line using my line tool here. Okay, so I've got a nice straight line through those two points. Now I want to decide which side of the line I'm going to shade. So I'm going to choose a test point, and again, 0, 0 is a good test point if if it's not included on the line. 
So it's not included on the line. So I'm going to use it here tonight. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in. 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0. Again, I'm plugging this into the original inequality. Is greater than or equal to 6. Well, 0 plus 0 is 0. It's greater than or equal to 6. This is a false statement. Therefore, I need to shade the opposite side of the line from my point zero zero. So I'll shade this region right up in here. Now, since we have a solid line, everything on the line and everything above the line in the shaded purple region is included in the solution set. In fact, this purple region continues to go on forever in that direction. Okay, let's move on to our last example here of, of an inequality. Okay, I notice that this one is also in standard form. Therefore, I'm going to find my x-intercept and my y-intercept. So to find my x-intercept, again, I'm going to solve the equation 3x minus 5 times 0 equals 15 which leaves me with 3x equals 15, or x equals 5. For my y-intercept, I'm going to solve the equation 3 times 0 minus 5y equals 15. That leaves me with negative 5y equals 15. So then I'm going to Divide by negative 5, y equals negative 3. Okay, so my x-intercept is at positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right up here on the y-axis. And then my x-intercept, oh, excuse me, I just graphed those backwards. So my x-intercept is over here on my x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my y-intercept is down here at negative 3. Again, this is a solid line. So I'm going to get my line tool out. See if it will cooperate with me again. Allow me to draw a solid line. You want to try to get those those lines when you draw them use a ruler make sure they go through the corners of those graphs and right through the center of those points okay the next thing to do is to choose a test point and see it see if the uh, test point is in the solution set so again i'm going to use zero zero because it's not on the line so i'll plug in three times zero minus five times zero is less than or equal to 15. That would leave me with 0 is less than or equal to 15, which is a true statement. Therefore, I'll graph the side of the line that includes 0, 0, which is right up here. 